Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jimmy. I'm with Tropicana Golf. In the past few months, I've been giving you golf tip after golf tip after golf tip, and they seem to be working. People are telling me that their scores are coming down and they enjoy them, and it's great. When times get tough, though, and the tip is not working, because it will happen. Some days you wake up and you are firing like a 66 Camaro, and other days you're a 92 Toyota and it just won't turn over. Your body's different, you slept different, you ate different, who knows? How do you turn it on when it's not working? You need that extra charge. I'm gonna share something that works for me every single time. Seriously, every single time. I'm gonna share it with you. I want you to implement it and let me know how it works. It's coming up right now. Okay, Jimmy, what is it? What's the secret magic recipe that works for you every single time? Is it something you drink? Is it something you eat? Is it a, uh, one of those gold, remember they used to sell you those gold bracelets and tell you that it would copper and it would like balance your energy. No, it's not, it's none of that. It's very easy and we can all do this. When I was a kid, I started playing guitar and I played for my whole life after that, I still play. But my dad would teach me to play guitar and I wanted to play things that were kind of difficult. And I would try to play it at the speed of the song. I would try to learn it at the speed of the song. And he would tell me, learn it in slow motion. I don't want to, it doesn't sound good. It sounds like B.B. King, you know, in reverse. I wanna play like B.B. King. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> you have to go slow before you go fast. And I know you're thinking, what kind of tip is this? I know that, but why don't you do it? I think that the hardest balls that I've hit, the furthest balls that I've hit, I swing the smoothest. And sometimes I envision that there's a camera with a full gallery right there. And all I want to do is say, hey guys, watch this. And I get here and I turn properly. I don't take it way up here and do all this crazy stuff and then fire. No, it's very sexy. It's very romantic. It's just boom, boom, slow it down slow it down. Just because you double bogeyed that hole doesn't mean you need to swing out of your to try to make an eagle here. No. Slow down. Grab the wall. Slow down. Get to the ball. Turn back. Turn forward. I'm going to play a couple holes now. And if you notice, my voice is going to change. I'm relaxed. I'm smooth. Smooth, smooth jazz, 97.1, the way, smooth. Oh my God, <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> here's, the, here's the thing that many people don't know. There's one true way to hit a ball far and to hit it well. You have to hit it right here. You can swing a thousand miles an hour and hit it here and it's going to be terrible and swing 10 miles an hour and hit it here and it'll be better. Now, I don't know about you, but when I'm driving a car or doing anything and I'm doing it at a high rate of speed, I can make mistakes and one little mistake is costly. If you're going 200 miles an hour on the freeway and you do this, that thing is but if you're going 45 and you do this, you barely feel it. You could still get back in your lane. Slow it down. I promise you, slowing it down, shortening your swing will help you more than any tip that you could ever achieve. I see it. I see guys swinging so hard. Why? You know what I love to watch? Women swing in the club because they know. I need to do this with graciousness and 
like they're poised and they're composed and men are like yeah watch this dale uh, i'm gonna hit it who cares dude who cares i'd rather see a nice than 330 yard drive like smooth it out smooth it out you ever been given a uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich and the peanut butter has not been smooth all along the bread there's pieces of bread that don't have peanut butter on it this is what i'm talking about be cool be smooth always okay that's the 2024 motto be smooth there's my ball i have a hundred and 50, 70 yards, 170 yards. Okay, let's be smooth about this. I have 170 yards. I know without a shadow of a doubt that if I step on an eight iron and really hit it hard, I could hit it 170. But I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna take a seven iron, okay? It's 170 to the middle. So what is it to the front? 150. Oh, well, that's a whole different game. 150, that's easy. Okay, so I'm gonna take a seven iron and swing like I'm trying to hit it 150. Did you hear what I just said there? I have 170 yards to the pin. 170 yards to me is an eight iron. I'm going to take a seven iron and try to hit it 150. What? Yeah, I'm gonna try to hit this 175 club 150. So all I'm going to do, smooth it out. You see how smooth that was? 93.7 the way. Smooth that. Very pure. Very, very pure. Just a little right. What that means is that I didn't get through the ball the whole way. It happens, okay? It happens. I hit it well. I hit it well, but I hit it with an open face. A lot of people do that too, including myself. You just saw it. So now I'm right. Okay, it's not the worst thing ever. I'm, I'm playing okay. I'm not like agitated. I didn't swing hard. Remember, I was trying to hit that seven iron 150. So I really smoothed it out. I left the club face a little open. It happens. It's almost pin high. Let me show you. That little issue there. Oh my God. So I'm here. So I'm almost pin high. I'm almost pin high. Let's get the, and I have to hit it over the bunker. Your favorite shot ever. Let me give you a tip for over the bunker, in the bunker, anything within this distance right here. Let me share something with you. A 69 degree wedge okay it is a club that truly has changed my game and i'm going to show you why oh, no. oh. <laughs> i'm going to show you why i'm going to show you what to do with these this is a big mental a big big mental game right here you have a bunker that is staring you in the face saying please hit it in me and you're thinking, don't hit it in the bunker. And you know what I say? What bunker? I'm not looking anywhere at the bunker. I'm going directly over that bunker like evil Knievel. And how do I do it? I don't hinge it, hold it, rotate this, the other. I take a putting stroke because this wedge allows me to take a putting stroke like this. Just like if I was putting it. And this club will allow it to go up the face and come down on the green with just a putting stroke. You don't believe me? Watch this. I'm going to putt it. Ready? Putting time. Oh my God, that's perfect. At no time did I ever think that that ball was going to go in the bunker. 69. Absolutely beautiful. It really has saved my game. Because I, I used to hit it in that bunker. I would think about all this, and then I would chunk it, or I would thin it. And it was, oh, one bad thing after another. That thing just sends the ball in the air, 
comes down soft. I hit it a little bit past. I'll tell you what, that is better than that any day of the week. Okay, it's putting time, folks. It's putting time. One of my favorite things. I have a 40 foot putt. Newsflash I'm not going to make this putt. Sorry. If you're waiting for me to make this, it's not going to happen. I, don't, I make one out of 40. But what I will do is I will envision at this point, how do I two putt this? Because that's what I want to do. Bogey is fine with me. This is a par putt. If I make bogey, I'm good. Where am I good from? Right here. Right in here, I can just tap it in. So there it is. Draw this giant circle in my mind. Dig it all out. Put a little plaster in there. Fill it with water. Drink some girls with bikinis. Drink a Miller High Life. That is now my hot tub, my jacuzzi, my three foot circle jacuzzi. All I want to do is take that ball and put it in the jacuzzi. That's it. Watch how much easier this gets. Oh, okay. I walk to my ball. I'm smooth about it. I take the ball and I'm going to roll it into the jacuzzi. I'm going to roll it into the jacuzzi. I'm going to roll it into the jacuzzi. 93.5. We play the best jazz. 93.7. My man. Guess what? That's a high life. Nice and cold in hot water. I just rolled it in there. I just rolled it in there. Now I have a one footer to clean up. That's easy. I can just go here, hit the ball, follow the ball with my putter head. Goes in the hole. I made bogey. Yeah. So what? So what? I was cool about it. I didn't have any crazy hard shots. I left one kind of open, face open. Who cares? You know, like I didn't hit anything terrible. I wasn't in the bushes or down there in that water. Only water I went in was the jacuzzi. I took all the pressure off of hitting a good shot. I'm sorry, hitting a good putt. I took all the pressure off by just expanding the hole. If I put a giant hole in the ground and said, hit it in that hole, you'd be like, it's easy. Well, then just do it. Just do it. Let's go play another hole. Let's uh, keep this cool mindset smooth. Be smooth, okay? I want you to be smooth. And smooth is fast because slow is smooth. Smooth is fast. And smooth is slow. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? All right, we have a par five. Everybody wants to see me hit driver. Okay, fine, I'll hit driver. Twist my arm. Par five, way up the hill, way up there. So I take my driver and guess what? Smooth it out, baby. Just be smooth. Just be smooth. I have houses over there and I have houses over there on the left. I have to hit it straight, guys. I must. So I aim right here. That's the middle of the fairway. I aim at that tree. I don't try to kill it. I'm nice. I'm cool. And I'm smooth. I don't need to, like, murder it. I know you want to get there in two. But if you smooth it out, you might have a chance. If you hit it in the houses, you have no chance. And you'll probably have to pay for somebody's sliding glass window. So take it to here. Bring it forward and be smooth. That's the whole swing. Take it to here. Not here. Take it to here, not here. Take it to here, bring it back, and be smooth. Just be smooth. Just be smooth. It's absolutely perfect. It's low. Did it go 375 yards? No, it did not. Is it in the middle of the fairway? Yes. And if you want to play good golf, consistent golf, golf where people go, man, that dude hits every fairway. That's what you need to do. You need to be smooth. 
You need to be smooth. You can be 25 yards behind them, fine, but they're gonna be in the houses or up against the rough and you're gonna be right in the middle of the fairway. Boring game, huh? Just smooth it out and you will start hitting more fairways. I promise. Smooth it out. Do exactly what I just said. Take it back. Bring it forward at a medium pace. You don't have to swing as hard as you can. It's not going to do you any favors. I play this hole a lot. I hit this ball exactly, exactly where I hit it when I swing hard. I swear to you. Go back and watch some videos. 18th hole. Look at this. This looks terrible. Sorry about the bad looking conditions right here. We have something happening. But anyway, this is where I hit it. This is where I hit it every time. And I swear to you, I tried to be as smooth as possible, like ridiculous. Now, I have a long way. That white stake right there is 250 yards to the green. I am not going to get it there. It is 250 and 275 because it's uphill. I want to hit this smoothly. And if it gets up there, good. Am I trying to hammer it? No. I just want less than 150 yards in. So I swing it back. I swing it back to here. Not here. Not here. Here. Boom. And do this. Smooth. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to 98.3 The Way. Smooth jazz. I'm hitting it so well. This is the best tip I've ever given myself. Forget about you guys. This is unbelievable. Like it's so pure. I'm not even I'm not even lying to you. Like <laughs> all these other little like, you know, things that I do, they help. But this unbelievable. I mean, I hit that I hit that 230 with a 3 iron uphill. It's really good. And all I'm doing is legitimately just being like Al Green. Just ladies and gentlemen, we're smooth. K Frog 98.5 for your daily commute. It's uh, 68 degrees on this beautiful Friday. I hope you have a great weekend. The thrill is gone by BB King coming up next. Anyway, here's the ball. There's the pin. I have less than 100. I have way less than 100. I have, there's 100 back there. I have 60. So what do I hit with my 60? 60. Says it right on there. Duh. It's a little uphill, so maybe it's about 65. Whatever. Now, I do the same thing. No different. Turn it back to here. And then bring it back down. Get it here, bring it back down. Not bring it back down. Not bring it back down. Here, here. Just bring it down the same way it came up. It's so easy. That's it. Bring it down the same way it came up and be smooth. Be smooth, be smooth. Don't go in. Oh no. If that thing went in and it's not on camera, I mean, nothing's gonna happen, but what a shame. <laughs> I think it went in. That was such a good shot. And listen, I, I came into this video because we play a Friday skins game in the morning and it's now almost 11 a.m. We played this morning and I was telling Zach and Nacho, the guys that I was playing with, I remember specifically when it happened, I said, guys, I have 175 yards. I'm going to hit the seven iron. And I'm going to be smooth about it. And since that point, I've hit every single fairway and played really well. And I've just said, this is a video that I have to make. I didn't really understand how good it really works. <laughs> I mean, it's great. And I'm just smoothing it out. Let's go take a putter and let's go see what it is oh thank god it didn't go in okay Whew. 
I was kind of worried there that it would have gone in and then, cause it literally went right by the hole. And that would have been very unfortunate. So look at that. I had a 60 degree. I barely swung that thing and it got all the way past the hole. The compression that you make and the contact that you make when you swing nice and smooth is unbelievable. You cannot replicate that. Hey, guess what time it is? It's jacuzzi time. I'm not going to make this putt, guys, but I am going to hit it in the jacuzzi. Where's the jacuzzi? Three foot circle. You have to do this every time. You have to mentally draw this jacuzzi. And you can do this with your friends and they say, what are you doing? I say, I'm putting a, a, a hoax or a jinx on the hole so you can't make it. I'm building an imaginary wall or I'm just building a hot tub. And it's Friday and I'm going to jump in, but not make a splash. Think about that. I'm going to jump in, but not make a splash. That is romantic AF. I know it goes this way. I see that just wanted to drip in. Get the ball into the jacuzzi without making a splash. How about that? Get the ball into the jacuzzi without making a splash. Get the ball into the jacuzzi without making a splash. Ooh, 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 ooh. Champagne of beers. That's in the jacuzzi. Now I get to the back of the ball. I hit it and I follow the ball into the hole with the putter head. Easy par. I'm relaxed. I'm confident. I've been to two jacuzzi parties in the last two holes. No pressure. I want you to try this. I want you to go out this weekend or whenever you're playing next or whenever that snow melts from wherever you live. And I want you to just remember one thing. Jimmy said, be smooth, be cool, be smooth, whatever it takes. Just get in that mindset of nothing can bother me. I'm going to swing smooth and that's it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to swing hard once smooth. I don't care what's happening. I want people to go, man, that's a really smooth swing. And you just go, I know. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this helped you. I'm Jimmy with Tropicana. I'll see you next time.